Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick overview video of all the accessories that I have installed on the truck so far. So some of those accessories include the ones that I installed myself and uh, others are part of the original uh, Chevy uh, accessories that were part of the packages that were shipped separately from the truck and just recently have been installed by the dealer. So without wasting too much time, let's take a look uh, at all the accessories. You guys are gonna have to excuse the audio uh, today. It's, it is a really nice day out, it's warm, but it is super windy. So chances are the mic is gonna be picking up a lot of that wind. One of the first accessories that I installed was a shorty antenna. Uh, the long stock antenna had to go. The next accessory that I installed on my truck are the uh, AVS in-channel window uh, deflectors. The install was pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure uh, you have to keep the window up for about three days and you're good to go. Next thing that I installed are these little pocket covers. Uh, the same thing as on the other side. Uh, I like how it gives this nice uh, and streamlined look. Next thing that I installed is the uh, American flag trailer hitch cover. Uh, it gives a little extra touch and uh, it also has this locking pin. For those of you who already follow my channel, uh, obviously have seen this, uh, the Gator EFX hard trifold cover. Uh, so far it's been working out pretty well. Let's open up uh, the tailgate and see what we got inside. All right, so a few things here. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and I purchased a Chevy, uh, this rubber mat. It's pretty thick and really heavy. Uh, and, uh, you know, just got it for a little extra protection for the bed when I uh, do bring, you know, things that can scratch up the bed. Next thing that I purchased is a cargo net, just to keep things uh, in place so it doesn't slide around. Another thing that I got for the, for the bed is this uh, trunk organizer. It's a, it's a nice little piece, it's pretty sturdy. And again, it keeps things from uh, flying all over the place. Now, as a part of the dark essential package from Chevy, um, there are several things that comes with it and it was just recently installed again it's a dealer installed accessory they've been out of some of these badges believe it or not uh, for quite a while so here they are you basically have a Silverado that's blacked out ladders LTZ also uh, the actual Chevrolet lettering in uh, flat black the Duramax badge in black the Z71 badge in black and of course uh, the black bow tie Finally, after waiting for two months, my uh, chrome assist steps uh, came in and the dealer just got them installed last week. They look pretty nice. Uh, they complement the little bit of a chrome that is on the truck. And of course, my kids and my wife uh, can stop complaining that the truck is too high for them and they have to climb in instead of stepping into the, uh, into the truck. Another thing that I just installed uh, is the ABS AeroSkin Bug Shield. It's nice and uh, slim and very sleek. I didn't want anything super bulky, so uh, I thought this was a, a good uh, option. And last but not least, the Z71 logo uh, all season flow liners. Same thing, had to wait for them for a little over a month before they finally came in. So you get two front floor mats and the rear one. And here's the rear floor liner and it goes all the way underneath uh, the rear seat. Another little accessory that I got was this uh, organizer under the rear seat. I was going to go with a uh, pocket that goes right under the seat, uh, the lockable one, but then um, I kind of decided to go with something that I can remove if I needed to, if I need to put something, you know, bigger and longer under the, under the seats so I don't have to un keep, you know, unbolting the actual uh, Chevy storage or the aftermarket storage. So this uh, This bag worked out very well. It fits perfectly under the seat 
uh, easily accessible and I can remove it anytime I need it to. Alright guys, so that's what I have so far on my uh, Chevy Silverado. As far as the truck itself, um, I really enjoy it. It's been great. I did have one thing uh, that happened to it. It's not a not a huge deal, but it seems to be fairly common uh, on these new trucks, uh, the diesels that is, uh, is the check engine uh, emissions light. Uh, it is a NOx sensor. Problem is, uh, it is on back order countrywide and uh, no one knows when uh, it's gonna come in. It's not a big deal. Doesn't really do anything uh, major as far as drivability of the truck so um yeah it, it actually seems to be coming and going so i drive it for a couple of days the light will go away then it'll show up again in a few days and it's been like this for about a month now and i got in touch with a dealer and uh they said call back in a couple of weeks again because it still is on the back order otherwise like i said the truck's been really uh doing great i've been averaging out um between city driving and highway driving uh, between 24 to 28 miles per gallon which is great uh, if I get on it really hard I still I'm still able to average about 21 miles per gallon which again for the truck truck this size it's it's really really nice so yeah that will do it for today um, do stay tuned for more updates on whatever else I'm thinking of doing to the truck uh, if you like the video please don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys soon take care